Nigel Farrell and Reza Mohammed's dream of opening the first Indian restaurant in the Ardèche region of southern France is now only 10 days away, and the redecoration is almost complete. In Nice, they found an Indian chef who's agreed to join them in a couple of days. And as an unexpected visitor, Nigel's old friend Nikki Singh turns up. But he's unhappy to discover that Nigel's borrowed money for the restaurant against the house they share at Le Fabre. The restaurant is about to open, OK? It'll do well. The money I've borrowed is absolutely safe. What if it doesn't? Well, it will. It will do well. In the little village of Lorac in the valley of the Ardèche River, Nigel and Reza have taken over a small French restaurant and converted it into Lette Indien. With the official opening just around the corner, Reza and Nigel are busy finalizing the menu. Most people in rural France have never even tasted a curry and are fiercely proud of their own cuisines. So Nigel and Reza are taking a big gamble. We're going to give them three bits, a selection, like a meze sort of style, yeah. starter. And then we'll give a sort of a chicken morsel, now chicken tikka, yeah. which we'll do in the oven. We need to do this all in Francais. Yeah? Grilled. Yeah, yeah. yeah we'll translate. In the oven. Yeah, we'll need to translate this yeah. in Francais. The third and then a, a fish cake. Mm. Chicken puri, yes, like puri, mm -hmm. yes, okay. Now it's fish cakes flavoured with ginger, chives, coriander. Okay, hang on. With Nigel and Reza is a friend from England who's lending a hand, Sally Ann, and the owner of the place, Christiane Touchou, who's agreed to stay on and help them get started. Christiane, what do you I think? What do you think, of the, what do you think of the menu so far, mon dieu? So far, mon chéri, I mean. Mon mon chéri, not my dear. Mon chéri, my dear. On the dev. Mon god, my god. I mean, she is. That's a problem. She is. Lani, if this, if this, if just talking about the menu's chaos, God knows what cooking the stuff's going to be like. Shush! Don't you start, Nigel. Right, main courses. We're going to give them a choice of either a chicken, seafood, or lamb. They're not going to have all three. They'll just have one. They can choose that, OK? Right. With the menu agreed in principle, Reza is anxious to check it out with the new chef, Edward, who's coming up from his home in Nice to see Lette and Diane tomorrow. Hang on. Um, what else? Oh, yes, Beng and Kassalan. If the choice of food for the tasting isn't absolutely right, it could be a public relations disaster. Nippy was very concerned to learn that Nigel had borrowed money to finance the restaurant against the house they own together at Le Fabre. He felt he should be repaid the money Nigel owes him before Nigel invested in a risky venture like the restaurant. But he's been sleeping on things. I thought initially that uh, the money was, that you would have the money. Really but available. You know, yeah, but Nippy, you no, know, I know. I haven't. I haven't no, I know, been, I know, I know. I, I, I didn't know that. It's not. For, it's not. For, well, you did know that. It's not. And it's well, not. And it's not actually for the want of trying. No, I no, have I know. tried everything. I understand. Well, all I'm trying to say is that you are in trouble and you need help. And I was just wondering. But that's why. That's why everything depends on the restaurant. And I'm convinced it will be a success. That's why you've got to give me a bit of time. Okay, no, I, I. I tell you what. Not only time. I will give you all my support while I'm here. Okay. Uh, if I can help you with the restaurant, well, for you mean physically, you know, yeah, sure. Reza, meanwhile, has been searching for the specialised ingredients he and the new chef will be needing for the Indian restaurant. There is no history whatsoever of Indian culture and cuisine in this part of the world, and the right spices, for example, will be hard to find. Coriander, four euros, about what? Two pounds. Eventually, though, Reza discovers a tiny shop in the back streets of Obana, the biggest market town in the southern Ardèche. If they stock the right spices, he won't, after all, have the headache of having to import them from abroad. I wonder if she has basmati rice also. Coriander powder? We. Oui. Coriander powder you have. I need, I need, um, do you sell by kilo? 
Oui, on yeah. peut, on peut faire un papier, kilo. Bien sûr, bien sûr. Je voudrais un kilo. Coriandre powder. <laughs> My French, honestly, it's terrible. Allez, allez, Madame, how comes you've got all these spices here? On fait tous les pays. Donc, yeah, she, she says she's got a spice store for doing a kind of kitchen for every sort of um, in the world, you know, from Brazilian, African, Good God. Indian. Does anyone cook Indian food here? No. There's no there's no Indian restaurant in the whole uh, department. My, in this non, whole area, non, you mean? Non, non, in the whole Ville, oui, peut-être Paris, ou Valence, ou Lyon. Ça. You're not going to believe it. I've just found. Hing, I found ginger powder. We've got all the powders, like cumin, coriander, and chili powder. My dear, say it's excellent. Oh, this is fantastic, my dear, mon chéri. You know, it's fantastic, very fantastic. It's all too fantastic. Quand un petit oiseau sur un petit oiseau chante. As well as being concerned about Nigel's finances, Nippy is also suspicious that all is not well in his relationship with his much younger girlfriend, Céline, who works for a local mortgage company. I wonder if you should ask her. Yeah? She's been amazingly successful at work. So is that, is that, is that work. keeping her away from you? It is keeping me away from her. Really? Mm. Which is a problem, but then I want her to be successful because if she's successful she's happy and it's a difficult time because she's in Montelimar a lot yeah, yeah and I'm in the restaurant a lot so I think in a you know a week or two things a few weeks things will get easier for both of us she'll have set up her office I'll have set up my rest Next morning, it's the long-awaited arrival of the Indian chef, Edward, who said he will give up his job in Nice and come and work for Nigel and Reza, providing he likes the place. He's got a lift up with his brother-in-law. Both have lived in the south of France for years and are fluent French speakers. Listen, you need to speak in English, otherwise Reza and I can't understand. I, I, I can't speak any English. They are French. I'm a now. I'm a This is what you need to see. Nigel and Reza are only planning on doing a maximum of 40 covers or meals each night, but the kitchen is very small. This is the kitchen here. Okay. This is for uh, water boils. You know, and, uh, you have all the things, things to put in. This is gas. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. I sense he's being very polite. Does he really like? I think he does. He said he he's not going to say anything till he sees the restaurant. No. And if he likes it, then obviously he's going to tell me. But he does like it. He does like it. I don't want any more no, misunderstandings. No, he really, really does like it. He does like the rest. Well, in that case, we're there, aren't we? We are. It'd be very interesting to see how creative he will be. I tried his food. It's not Michelin star cooking, I can tell you that now. Um, it's OK for what it is, but it's, it's an opening. You are going to come and cook here? Yes. Can I have your hand on that, please? Because we, we, we need this. We thank need you, thank the, you. the security. <laughs> exactly, we do. Yeah? Yeah. Thank exactly. You, thank you. Thank you. You know, otherwise, my head's going to be on the block, too. You know? Your head is already <laughs> on the block. The act is just waiting. <laughs> Nigel and Reza have set aside £800 of their total start-up budget of £20,000 for advertising and marketing Lette Andien locally. Nippy has agreed to stay on for a few days to help with the publicity. Everyone roundabout has heard about the unusual project involving the Englishman and the Indian. The question is, will they really want to come and eat there? Nippy's been thinking hard about marketing the restaurant, and he's come up with a very original idea. I saw a poster of a circus, the circus in town. And you find that circuses generally would have some sort of animals, you know, lion. Yeah, yeah, I do know what a circus is. I've got it, a, yes, it's got animals, right. Uh, we could get an elephant from the circus. Borrow an elephant. Borrow an elephant. What, and parade and it around the town? Parade around the town. I'm sure these guys here never seen elephant in their lives. To publicize the restaurant. Absolutely. 
So you want me to pitch up at a circus, yeah. unable to speak proper French, That's and explain okay. to them that I'm opening up a new your... restaurant, which they won't understand. But and this could is... I borrow an elephant? This is where I'm you not... get the fantastic opportunity for you to use your charm. Is it possible for me to borrow an elephant? Vous n'avez pas de chance parce que là je n'ai pas d'éléphant. Pas d'éléphant. J'ai pas d'éléphant là. Ah, un cirque Mais... sans un éléphant. Oui. Ah. Mais j'ai des chameaux de dromadaires africains. Africains, non, indiens. Ah, ah c'est africain les dromadaires. Ah, hein. C'est très important, indien. Et, Et euh, les lions J'ai les lions, oui, bien sûr. Les lions. Les tigres de, pas de tigre, non. Pas de tigre. J'ai de, de, un zébu qui est indien. Ah, zèbre Zébu. Zébu Oui. Back at the restaurant, Edward's preparing his first meal. Reza and Nigel have invited some close friends to Letty and Dian for an honest assessment of the new menu. I am tired. Who said I'm tired? I'm not tired. I've got lots to do. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my where's actually um are they uh, where's the paper towels? Paper towels. Oh. Can you get me some please? So I'm tired, how dare you? I'm tired. I'm not tired. Here, take that. Reza is never Jeez. tired. That is a jolly boy. Jolly? Jolly boy. Well, that's a huh? We try and want to inspire you. I hope I'm inspiring you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I, you know what? I just want to see what you're up to tonight. I don't have no idea. This is your this is your day. Thank you. And if it ain't good, I'm going to be in serious trouble. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. okay. Ah, Andia? Oui, Andia. <laughs> this is say, say Andia? Andia. I don't think that's going to look terribly impressive, really. For publicity for our Indian restaurant. Well, I find that a bit underwhelming. So the circus owner may not have an elephant, but he knows a man who does. D D E. Bonne chance avec le cirque. Merci. Merci. Vous aussi. Merci. Au revoir. Oh, pour le restaurant, beaucoup de chance. After the break, with the clock ticking away, there's growing tension in the air. The trouble with you I have spent months even, setting I have spent months setting this up. You make it sound as though I just you know, suddenly yesterday thought, yeah, let's yeah. have a taste it. Tonight, Reza and Nigel are having the critical tasting of the new menu at their restaurant, Lette Andian. Amongst the friends who will be there to give their unbiased opinion of the Indian cuisine is Christiane Touchou, her husband, Jean Bernard, their son, Manu, and of course, Nigel's girlfriend, Céline. The tasting will be a critical test for the future of the restaurant. Most Ardeshois have never eaten a curry in their lives and know nothing of Indian cooking. For this reason, Edward has kept his menu simple. He's experimenting with chicken tikka masala, served with spinach and fenugreek, rogan josh, lamb with onion and garlic, and chicken madras with yogurt and cream cheese. Well, at the moment, he seems to have churned out a hell of a lot of stuff. It seems everyone seems to be commenting because the smells are sort of wafting down the road. I'm just putting my fingers crossed because it all depends on Edward tonight, and it's really Ed, Ed, Edward's evening. It really is. If he's not up to it, then we are completely screwed. Also on tonight's guest list is the one man who does know something of Indian cooking, Nippy. With the opening of the restaurant now only a few days away, he feels Nigel's arranged the tasting far too late in the day. It's a commercial venture. You've got to think, how are your customers going to react when they eat? Why do you always tell me things that I know already? Of course it's a commercial transaction. It's a restaurant. I, you know, I do realize this. I know. That but these the are real people with real money. about it, Nigel, is the thing is that I know you a bit too well. And the point is, you, you, if you were on Mother Earth, be, great. But well, what's trouble with you is... I have is, spent months even, setting it. I have even, spent months setting this even, up. Do you make it sound as though I just you know, suddenly yesterday thought, nah, let's nah, have a tasting? No, no, no. You may have thought about it. The trouble is, you, you see, I know you too Why well. do you keep patting me on the shoulder Yeah, because I'm, I'm six it's, years it's old. reassuring you. I don't but want don't any reassurance. I don't need it. 
6 p.m. and there's a certain air of tension down in Letty Andian. Hang on, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, whoa. Start again. He, yeah, he has there made started. There are started. So, yeah, so what we do, we remove these main course. Sal, things. can you come listen to this? Because yeah. if you don't know what's going yeah, on. Yeah, neither do I, because he hasn't told me. The first thing that happens is he will, or you will give yeah. me a plate. Yeah, so and, and you can bring about three, plate. if you can carry three yeah. or four. OK, whatever, and then we just, you we just put them, you know. Yeah, yeah, but we just put them in front of the person. Yes, exactly. You start from the right. OK. So they try the, the starters, yeah. then we're obviously going to ask them what they think of the starters. Yes, exactly. And then we, we remove the plates. Yes, exactly. And what happens then? Reza's an experienced restaurateur, and even okay. Sally Ann's worked in a restaurant before. Lovely. Same as the starters. Yeah. Nigel's total inexperience is beginning to show through. Deliberately trying to make this difficult. No, this was like the start. This thing. is a main okay. course plate. Okay, well, all right. right. And then, how do we actually serve the lamb and the? They're going to be in these terracotta bowls, right. and I think they can be placed in the middle of a table so they can help themselves. They're two lamb dishes. A couple of vegetables. What is how do you say? I don't even know how you say help yourself, but um, so yeah, serve it. Serve Because normally with Indian okay. food, it's almost okay. it's almost so we put like the plates down yes. on the right, yeah. and then serve it. Yeah. How's it going, Andrew? You all right? Yes, Are you yes. calm? It's only for ten bloody people. It's not for a hundred people. If we, we all then panic for ten, God knows what's going to happen in the opening night. Honestly, Nigel, don't make me nervous. He, when he bumbles, I get more and more nervous, so I, it really drives me nuts. OK, OK, cool down, cool you down. Huh? I need a chill pill, but Nigel needs a double chill pill, really. They're starting the evening with rose syrup, a traditional Indian aperitif. Hello, oh, hello. 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 How are you? Hi, how are you? I'm all right, I'm all right. You're all right. Hey, Lala! Oh! <laughs> wait, wait. You wait till last week. Wait, you are me. Pineapple, gelatin, and rose something. I tell you what. And I've, I've been promised it won't kill you. You know what this is? I just no, told it's... you what it is. No, but, but, but the Indian yes. word for this is Ru Afza. Is it? My trouble is I, I, I can't feel her call in it. There is no other oh. But this is the traditional way, isn't it? Also joining them are two neighbours from Le Fabre, Christine and Eric. The colour is strange. Pink colour? What do you just drink it? What do you think? This is alcohol. No, it's not alcohol. This is actually a milk. Things get off to a rocky start. The French palate clearly doesn't appreciate the rose syrup. Tasty? Mm hmm Good. You need some alcohol? I knew you'd say that. But you know what, Kristen, this is before we drink, before you have alcohol. Ah. This is perfect to line the oh, stomach. Yes. And then you have the alcohol. <laughs> then you can drink to your heart. Next to arrive is Celine. It's the first time Nigel's seen her for a couple of weeks. At last. Yes. OK, Nigel. Well, food's ready. Can, can you get all your guests seated? OK. Everybody, food's oh, ready, sir. Eric. You see? So where are you going to sit, my darling? Why don't you sit here, my sweet girl? Hang on, you, you, just, you just said to me, I'm organising okay, the seating. Yes, 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 yes. But I do want my darling Christian in the middle so I can no, take no, no, care no. of her yes. in the most delightful way. Yes. <laughs> yes. I don't want him in front of me. Yeah. Yeah. Celine sits yeah. here. Oh, oh, right, OK. First out is the lamb, which Edward has cooked with onion and garlic. But as with the chicken chi nilgri, with much less chili and spices than he'd normally use. It's accompanied by lentils with onions and coriander. Next comes the lamb rogan josh with its cashew and yogurt sauce and the prawns cooked in coconut milk. The reception of the food is decidedly mixed. I don't know what he's trying to do there. He served the lamb and the chicken. They both taste the same. What's the problem with me? Oh, I don't like the chicken. I don't think it's been cooked properly either. The cooking of the lamb was perfect. The cooking of the chicken, the taste is very good, but mm. it's... A bit dry. Yeah. I found the chicken very strong for me. Too strong. No, no, I, I know. No, I'm, I think... You're absolutely right. It needs a little bit more refining. While their guests pause to digest their meals out on the terrace, inside there's a post-mortem on what went wrong. Can I just say something? Go. It's hot. No. No, it's hot generally. 
But what have you been I'm, eating? I'm, I'm just becoming really hot. Like but what, yeah, but what are you eating? Thank um, you, Edward. Yeah, yeah, but what have you had? What have you had? Spices and stuff. Yeah, really, really yeah. Hot. yeah. Let me try one. Because I think it's. I think it's very dense. stodgy and too it's dense. Dense and heavy yeah. and I, and, 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 totally and and everything you don't it's want. It sticks exactly. to the teeth. Uh -huh. You haven't been here. Not no. Because, um, Meanwhile, Nippy can't resist the opportunity to quiz Celine about her relationship with Nigel. I'm a walking girl. <laughs> you know? <laughs> no, I understand. It's very difficult to see. Uh, mm. uh, have time to see Nigel. All right. All right. It's my life. Yes, yes. You're very, very busy. As well as having to rethink the menu, Reza's moving on to the next potential problem. With only four days to go before their official opening, he's concerned over the lack of bookings. But Nigel, have you got any bookings now for Tuesday? We, but we I am very worried. No, but I we, am concerned. No, but we have to wait. No, but we have to wait a day or two. Okay. Fine. There really is huge interest in this, and people so. will. I know. I know. We we'll, we'll we'll rely on you to getting the bookings now, and we need to get people in. We need bums on seat. I can tell you this now. We spent a lot of money on the spices Don't and things. And, and it's, it's food cost. There's a hell of a lot involved here. So I really rely on you now. I really do now. Just okay. trust me. You're good on food. I will make this work. Okay. Okay. Next morning. And Nigel confronts the reality of the situation. The French may be curious about the food, but seem strangely reluctant to start making reservations. We open on Tuesday. Yes. And we have not had one single booking. Why is this? Yes, because we change our opening ma many often. Well, I, what I don't understand is when the phone rings yes, and they say we're not open, why don't you say, would you like to make a reservation for next week? I, I always told us. No, but and you they don't. Said, yes. You I... don't say, would you like to make a reservation? Yes. I... <laughs> no, it's and they not... say, we are waiting till you are open. That's all they say. They don't know about what you are going But to if do. you follow that logic through, nobody's ever going to make a booking. Yes, no. They it's want to see what you are doing. But I can't believe that some of your friends haven't said, I'll come on Wednesday, book a table they, for they four. They come. But last week we okay. said we will be Bonjour, let it on the aisle, Rally Fleury. Christiane Touchou, oui, elle est là. So what's the problem here, Nigel? Oui. Well, I'm, I mean, Christian doesn't oui, seem to oui, be too worried oui, about oui. it, but the truth of the matter is we're, we open in three days. We've spent more ah, than £20,000 so far on this restaurant. And okay. we haven't got a single booking. Now, what she's saying is that people Come are phoning on. up and they're, they're not making yeah. bookings, but they, they will. You know, she says it'll be fine, but I am very worried. I cannot believe that not, not one single friend of hers has said, I'll book a table for next Wednesday. Not a single person has done that. In the next programme, French bureaucracy threatens Nigel's sanity. No wonder this place is always empty. Nobody wants to go through the sheer <laughs> torture of trying to get anything done. Will the arrival of Baby the Elephant transform the fortunes of Reza and Nigel? And Lippy becomes increasingly convinced the restaurant is heading for disaster. I seem to be concerned about this whole project. Kirsty Allsop follows a property chain from start to finish in a brand new series starting on Tuesday at 8. Next on 4, though, another new series begins. What will motivate a bunch of young guys to perform extreme challenges? The carrot or the stick?